New at 6, we're told the parents accused of kidnapping their own children from a CPS visitation in Colleen are expected to return the children and turn themselves in soon. Jeffrey and Maria Gilseth are still on the run. Law enforcement saying they're armed and their three boys are in danger. But today, Jeffrey's attorney painted a much different picture to KXAN investigator Aaron Cargyle. Very different, Robert and Sydney. First, let me tell you, Child Protective Services side, according to these court records, the state agency first removed the three children, Hunter, Dylan, and Levi, ages 11, 9, and 4, on May 10th of last year. Back in March, their mom, Maria, left the house after a physical fight with her husband and was found with bruises all over her body, and she said it happened in front of the children. She said her husband, who is a military veteran, has PTSD, anger management issues, has weapons and quit taking medication to manage his PTSD. At one point, CPS was told the dad allegedly threatened to kill his wife and the children, cut their bodies into pieces and burn them. CPS says Maria told someone she's been abused for 13 years. When CPS got involved, they say the Gilseths refused to cooperate and tell them what happened, even stopped answering their calls as time went on. But Jeff's attorney, Eddie Shell, says there's no history of abuse. The one fight in March of last year is the only physical fight that's ever happened. He says they've done everything they've been asked to do by CPS, but we're told at the last family meeting, CPS was terminating their parental rights. That's why he believes they took matters into their own hands and took off with the kids at the last visitation. Shell said he doesn't condone taking the children and running from the law, but can understand it. I thank God that Texas allows you to have a jury trial because I believe we can convince 12 people in McCullough County that this was wrong, but by golly, it's certainly understandable. And that the best place for these kids is with the parents. And when I asked Shell if Jeff Gilseth could hurt the kids, he said absolutely not. He has no idea where they are tonight, but says he has received reliable information that they will be contacting his law office in the next day or two to return the children and turn themselves in. Back to you. A clerk for the Supreme Court of Texas says it's seen a dramatic rise in the number of people challenging parental termination cases. That's after the court ruled that parents have a right to counsel when seeking review at the high court. In the last term, Clerk Blake Hawthorne says it hit an all-time high of 185 cases.